welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So Mark, what do we got this week? Rory, I'm going to show you Mega Super Copy. Wow, Mega Super Copy. Yeah. That must be pretty special. Yeah, we were on the way to developing Super Copy and realized we could make it Mega, so it's become Mega Super Copy. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, how does this work then? Um, actually, I didn't think of using the word awesome. It should actually be called Mega Awesome <laughs> Super Copy, but it's only Mega Super Copy. So let me show you how this works. Mega Super Copy is useful when you have code that you want to paste in later and you know in advance what you want to change when you paste it. And, and, right. and that's a little bit like, wait, what? What did you just say? But, but the key part is you know what you want to change. And the second piece of it is, is that you're going to do it more than once. So when you're in the scenario where you have code that's kind of similar, uh, but small changes to it, that sort of thing, you can set up yeah. the change parts, mark them in advance. And we mark them using multi-select. And let's, you know what, let's come up here. Let's start with an example up here. Uh, I've got a, a function here called, or property called control key down right here. And what yep. I would really like to do is I would like to also create an alt key down and a shift key down, right? Yeah, so I, fair enough. I know what I want to change, and I, know, and I know I need to do it more than once here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multi-select the word control here and the word control here. There's one more. I don't need to do this because this one is going to match up with that one because it's the same thing. But this is not. It, this is just the same text but part of a name. Sure. So I, it's a piece of an identifier, so yeah. Exactly, so I've, I've done that. Now I'm gonna use selection increase to get the, the, the property I need, copy to the clipboard, come down yeah. wherever I want to, it doesn't matter, hit paste, and now type in, for example, alt, like that. And hit enter. So just to be very clear there, there was no special keys in the, in the copy or the paste, they were just ordinary control C, control V. Right. In your case? I used control insert and shift insert, but yes. Okay, so the, the legacy keys work as well. That's great. Exactly. But the ordinary keys, legacy and or uh, the control C, control V, that's all you need to do. Cool. So you're literally calling out just this, the small piece of text, which, you know, you want Code to pay special attention to, to make into sort of fields in our, in our uh, linguistic model here. A and then you just copy and paste, as simple as that. Yeah, and what's cool is it's on the clipboard in this richer format which means I can go somewhere else in the file if I want to, and then do the paste there, and then type in the piece that I need, whatever it is, and I'm able to change just the pieces I want to change in that new location. Okay, so does that mean that um, in addition to that, you, you can sort of have done any number of other keystrokes in between, maybe you did some, some subtle typing, and then do an additional paste then, and that'll still work? Right, in fact, I can even do this. I can copy something else to the clipboard, right? I've kind of destroyed what's there out on the clipboard, but I can hit yeah. Control Alt V to to do a callback to the last mega super copied bit of code on the okay. clipboard. Okay. So ordinarily, the, the clipboard just copies and, and holds one thing in memory, and it's the last thing that you decided to copy, no matter what that was. Um, but in addition to that, we've reserved a bit of space for our last super mega copy, exactly. and and we've we've captured that so that if you want to call back to that, as you say, it's great great phrasing. Uh, we call back to that with, a, was it Control-Alt-V? That's right, Rory. Control-Alt-V will paste the last mega super copied bit of code uh, that we put on the clipboard. That's fantastic. So we, we really have absolutely nothing getting in your way here. You've got a perfectly standard copy and paste, but which pay greater attention to this extra piece of information, which, you know, it's rather than go off and make a template with, with all of these little pieces cut out, you, you're going to come in here and you're just going to basically copy exactly what you need to the clipboard and then paste it again and paste it again and paste it again. That's right. Very, very quick to set up. None of this extra faffing around necessarily and just straight to what you need. Right. Let me show you a few more examples just so you can see this, get the hang of this here. Um, okay. Here I've got an if block and uh, basically I'm checking to see if the sender is coming from one particular button, then I'm going to create an icon associated with it. But I've got a to do here that says, well, wait, what if it's button vector two, then show icon person. Or if button vector three, yep. then show icon yo. Okay, yep. so I get that. So let's do that. Let's set it up. We'll just select this, hit control, alt, enter to mark that piece. And I'll select this, the part that's going to change because the other icons all start with the word icon right there. So I just need to change the last part. Select everything, yep. copy it to the clipboard, come down here, bring in the else keyword, 
paste, change this to a two, hit enter, change this to person, hit enter, come down, bring, bring in the else keyword again, paste again, yep. three, sp hit enter, and then yo, and enter. And notice also I go to the end after the paste, I mean after the last enter, after the last field is changed and I hit enter, I go to, out to the end of the line. Yeah, because I mean, being in the middle of the line is not particularly useful. We're, we're done with our template. We'd like to move on to the next thing. And the most logical place is the end of the text we've just been manipulating. Right. And actually, I should clarify, we go to the end of the whole block is what we do. We go to the whole end of the sure. block if it's multi-line. So that's pretty cool. Let's show it to you one more time here. We're going to grab these right here. I'm going to grab scale X, mark that, and scale Y, mark that. Grab both of these, yeah. copy them to clipboard, come down in here. And now I can type in, for example, uh, translate X and translate Y, something along those lines there, right? Enter yep. and then translate like that. So I can make those changes uh, pretty quickly. The other thing I wanted to show you, Rory, is what happens if, for example, we wanted, we didn't have anything to select, but we wanted to change something there, right? Sure, yeah. So you've got a point that you want to right. sort of save for the result, it, but there's no actual width to this. Exactly. That's the, the question. And sometimes that happens if maybe I have like no parameters at all, but I have an option to put a parameter in, for example, in a call like that, right? Yeah. So I can do that by just putting the caret where I want to, hitting Control-Alt-Enter again, the same key. And now this time you'll notice there is... Uh, a little marker there that's green right yep. there for me. And I can do the same thing here. That's for zero width entries. And then I can still select anything else that I want to particularly change. And now I just select uh -huh. that group, copy to the clipboard, uh, and now I can delete that because I don't need that anymore. Come back in and paste in wherever I want to. And there you can see carrots in the first location, um, right here, like that. And then Karen yeah. goes to the next location here, and then the next and the next and the next, and then finally to the end. And that's really good. Yeah, and that's how you do it. And so that's mega super copy, Rory. Fantastic, Mark. Um, is there any options that we need to be aware of for this? Is there anything that we can customize about it in any sense? Oh, good question. If you go into Code Rush and bring up uh, the uh, options, you go out here to linked text and text fields. Um, these options right here will apply to anything that you've marked in advance for the mega super copy. Um, and so they're essentially filtered by what kinds of things you've got marked. So if you mark numbers and you have this option checked, it'll look for matching numbers if you've selected this option right here to link together matching numbers, that sort of thing. So, okay. so these options on this page impact uh, mega super copy as well as smart duplicate uh, line and selection features. So that's what you were using in that first example when you when you picked out the phrase control. It was looking for other vari or other copies of that to, to link together. So you only had to edit one of them uh, in order to then get all of them to sync up. So go for three copies of control to three copies of alt to three copies of shift. Right, exactly. So link together matching identifiers, right? What Roy's talking about is when I selected here. Remember, I selected just one here, but then I also selected this one. So this and this are matching identifiers. So they're going to link together. But if I didn't, let's let's just undo this. By the way, Control Alt Backspace undoes it removes all your uh, all your multi selects. If I were just to select this and then make a super copy it, it would not get the word Control in Control key down because it's not an identifier. It's by itself is it, see that it's yeah. not an identifier right there. So it would it's not, not being overly out. greedy, as it were. Exactly. And so and so I have the option to make it so, in other words, not overly greedy. So as a result, I have to select two things before I make this change. But I'm pretty comfortable with that. Yeah. It always gives you the, the extra level of granularity in your control. Right. Yeah, I was going to say I wanted to mark up only the things that I, w that I want to, to hold on to. Fantastic stuff, Mark. So that's mega super copy. Um, very few keystrokes to actually know for this one. There's Control Alt Enter for making your multi selects, and then it's just copy and paste keys exactly the way you're used to them. And I, I suppose there's the Control Alt Backspace to clear the multi selects if you feel the need to do that as well. But very little to know here. Just keep using copy paste as you're used to with this extra little use of the multi selects, and you're going to be firing on more cylinders than you ever have before. That's right. Okay, Mark, thanks very much. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week.
For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen, or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.